My name is Darren Barksdale. Yeah, all right. True Flavor Entertainment. How long have uh, you been in the fashion business, first of all? Uh, we've been in the fashion business since 1992. Where does the name FUBU come from? Um, collectively, we sat together and we were trying to come up with with a colloquial for supporting the designs by brothers like us and wearing the designs by brothers like us. So we came up with FUBU, so it stands for For Us, By Us. How long did it take you to get established in the fashion business, first of all? Well, it all depends on what level you're talking about. I mean, you can be established in the fashion business from conception. You know, it depends on if you're doing custom work or um, depends on where you want to take, take what you're doing. So I would say for where we were aiming, it took us about four years. Your spokesperson, Mr. LL Cool J, um, did he come to you or did uh, y'all come to him first? Uh, we, we approached him on several occasions. And um, it took us quite a while, and then we finally got to a point where we could sign an agreement with him. I saw some of your tennis shoe lines is coming out now, and your tennis shoe line is slamming. Thanks. Yeah, I'm talking about people down in Tennessee, they're going crazy over your tennis shoe right. and everything. Uh, are you going to have a female line? That's what a lot of females have been asking me to ask line you. It's already out. It, it was just, um, we just touched it a little bit this, this um, summer, spring and summer. Um, it'll be in full, a full collection in September. So now, you, now you can, um, we have a full female line, men's, boys, boots, bags, glasses, watches, eyewear, loungewear. Okay. And where do you see yourself in the year 2000 with FUBU? Well, year 2000 basically around the corner, man. Um, only change you'll see in us is <clears throat> uh, keeping the identity in the line and making the line a larger, more diversified um, line. You may see some freestanding stores from us and some in-store shops and a couple of the major department stores. How do you feel about uh, like the imitators, you know, uh, you know marketing the FUBU name? Because I know I go to a couple of like flea markets down in Atlanta and they have like a... You're talking about the counterfeiters? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot of people don't know you hear the name, but if they come yeah. to you, this FUBU, because I would have never known, you know, I don't bought a couple of shirts, they don't care to me, man, that, you know, that ain't real money. Hey. Lady told me, you know, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. First time seeing. Yeah, um, how you feel about that? Well, I mean, the counterfeiting business um, can make you famous and can hurt you at the same time. Yeah. You probably would not have known that we existed if it wasn't for the counterfeiters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But also now you're spending your hard-earned money and you're not getting what you are aiming to pay for. Yeah. It, it, it's a thriving business, man. It exists and there's nothing we can do about it because it, it comes from so many different areas. Um, all we can do basically is try to educate the consumers that to get the goods from reputable retail outlets and look for things like hang tags hanging off of it, you know, tags in the neck, you know, just look for quality in the garment. Because you shouldn't be buying a garment if it's not made of quality anyway. I don't care if it's counterfeit or a real product. You understand? Yeah. So look for that when you're buying the product and and you know, you do get what you pay for, man. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, so if you're expecting to buy a whole job for $10, <laughs> you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's get real. You know what I'm saying? You wear it one time, it's going to rip up. You're going to end up coming to me and spending the $40 anyway. Okay. Man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all I can say is just try to educate okay, the consumer. Because yeah. a lot of people from Chattanooga, you know, we come up to Atlanta, you know, get clothes and they come back with the Yeah, go to the real guys, man. Go to the Macy's, the Richards, the, 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 the Foot Lockers, the Champs. You know what I'm saying? Those, those kind of guys. Are yeah, oh, okay. this, or the specialty Special. stores that you know been around for a good time in the community and they've been there. The Walters, there's like a Walters down here, you know, you ever heard of Walters? He's been here a while, you know what I'm saying? So, you go to those reputable guys.